Hi, my darlings, how are you? This is gonna be for my Taurus. And this is gonna be a message for whenever it reaches you. I will be using my Angel's Tarot deck. To, I nearly said to clarify, I'm not clarifying. I will be pulling a card from my Energy Oracle deck. So it's just gonna be a little short, sweet reading, hopefully. So Taurus, let's see what messages we have for you. Welcome everyone, welcome. I thank you so very much for stopping by, for spending time with us. Oh my goodness, for taking care of you, you know. I would like to let you know, I give you these messages always, from my heart to your heart. Always, darlings, always. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay, babies? Not every reading will be for you, okay? So let's see if we can raise our vibrations with this reading. Taurus. So Taurus, this is for you. We got the Ten of Airs, Ooh, a very happy family life. And you came into some finances you weren't expecting. You got the Ten of Earth, this is enough to take care of you and your family now. Ah, oh, the Nine of Air, but you're expecting the worst. Why? You got some fear and anxiety. What's going on? This is called self-fulfilling prophecy, okay? You're expecting the worst to happen. When you do that, that's what you're putting out into the universe. And when you do that, guess what's going to happen? It's going to come right back. So the negative feelings and whatever it is that you're feeling, try to relax, okay, babies? Just try to relax. Try to change those thoughts into positive ones, okay? Try to release that fear. Move through that fear, all right? You got the nine of air, nine of air, <laughs> the nine of air. Then we got the chariot, an important achievement, something coming in pretty fast for you. We got the ego card, whatever was unhealthy in your environment, baby, is a thing of the past. <laughs> we got the ego card in the past. We got the ten of fire, you got a lot of work going, a lot of work. You got a lot of things you're doing. You need to accept help from others because your life might be a little out of balance. Or you might need to step back and just look at things from a different perspective. But this ten of fire is about a heavy load on your shoulders. Okay? So just stop for a minute, ask for help, or maybe look at it at a different way to see if, look at it to see if there's another way for you to do whatever it is you're working on. You got the ten of fire. The card also says stress-related health concerns. So, breathe, relax. Don't let stress get the best of you, okay? You got the two earths here. You are feeling a little off balance. You got a lot going on and you need to make a decision. You got the two earths, you're feeling off balance. You got the five of fire, you have a lot of conflict. You got conflict in your environment. The balance card, you, there is a need for you to balance and you need to have patience. Whatever it is that you're working on, take a break. Stop expecting the worst to happen. There is a lot going on in your life, but you need to find a balance and you need patience. Okay, babies, you got the balance card. You got the king of water. 
<laughs> it's all about balance, darlings. You feeling off balance? Why? Have the night of water. Now, the night of water is about falling in love, a wedding proposal, the need to balance your emotions. There's balance needed in your life. Something is off here and I don't know why. You got the Knight of Water. You got the Six of Water. Maybe all these things are from the past. Maybe whatever has you off balance is past. You know, it's from the past. You need to take a rest. Before you make a decision, you got the Queen of Earth here. That's you, Taurus. And you got the Hermit. You feel alone. Get to know yourself. Get to know yourself. If you are alone, okay? Get to know yourself. Go quiet. Spend time in a little meditation. Learn about meditation. Learn about trusting yourself. And finding the answers within you. You got the four air. You need to take a break. I want to feel there's a lot of emotions all over the place. And some conflict and up and down emotions. You got the queen of earth here. That's you. You're stable. Taurus, come on now. You got to take a sensible approach to whatever it is, whatever it is, and deal with the challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Maybe you need to go within so you can figure out how to do that. Only you know. Eight of Earth, the King of Water, and the Seven of Air. The Eight of Earth. Did I say the Eight? The Eight of Earth, the King of Water, and the Seven of Air. You're very focused on the details of whatever is going on in your life here. But you found emotional balance. Or this could be a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio in your environment. See, the four of air says, time to take a vacation or rest. Allow more time before making a decision. And you got the queen of air and then you got the hermit. So you need to think about whatever it is that's going on in your life. You need to think about it, okay? You got the eight of earth. The eight of earth to me is about focusing on all the details of the situation. The king of water, it could be that once you take care of all of this, you're going to start feeling emotionally balanced. Or this could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio in your environment. Then you got the seven of air. Hoy. You're going to find that your plans are going to need revision. They got things going on in your environment that you're not even aware of. What's going on? Things in your environment that you're not aware of. You got the seven of air. You got some betrayal. You have betrayal here. And it might have something to do with finances. Because the first card was the Ten of Earth. We got the Eight of Earth. We got the King of Water. We got the Seven of Air. Be aware. Be cautious. Okay? Pay attention. Pay attention to your environment. Pay attention to your surroundings. And one more card here. No, two more. And then you got the Queen of Air. The Queen of Air could be an energy in your environment. It could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Or it could be you clearing away things that no longer serve you. You went within. You did some work. You decided, you know what? You're saying for me. It's time I step back. And that feeling is going to come in really fast. You got the Eight of Fire. Events moving at a fast pace. So I don't know. You got a little up and down situation going on. You got the queen of air and you got the eight of fire. So let's see. What other message we have for Taurus?
attachment. I'm shuffling my cards upside down. Attachment. Perceived need and the choice to let go. In the upright position, this card reveals that your passage forward is being stopped by strong attachment to old patterns or people from the past. You got the six of water here. That's the past. The chains at your wrist is bolted to fear from the past your fear from the past something to do with money the chain at your wrist is bolted to fear from the past or desperation about the future Although you may wear the mask of pretense or even contentment, you simply can't seem to go forward. The stuff that's keeping you stuck could be physical addictions, emotional patterns, or even old relationships. Are you living in fear, addicted to old, unhealthy habits, or so desperate about the future that you can't be happy now? If so, the chains that bind you could be your own making. This card is telling you that this that it's time to take action. Take the action you need to break out of your chains and move forward to an open, free, healthy and authentically happy life. It may take some courage and effort to let go, but know that you are capable of doing it. Until you do, the difficult energy will just repeat itself, keeping you stuck. So Taurus, this message here is about you doing some work, okay, babies? You really need to examine some things in your life, okay, darlings? I know it, this is not for every one of you. I know that. But please take the pieces that do resonate, okay, my loves? You just got to do some work on you. Show you some love, all right? Let go of the past. Heal yourself. It's possible. I love you. You take care of yourselves and we will chat later.